Hello fellow quarantines! Since we're all a little stir-crazy and having to find really creative ways to amuse ourselves, I thought I'd start this series letting you know some of the lesser-known binge-worthy free movies hidden deep within the caverns of Amazon. There will be good movies, there will be cheesy movies, there will be confusing movies you'll wonder how they even survived the pitch meeting, but above all, all of these movies will have something worth watching. A few guidelines I will attempt to follow. No purposely terrible or amateurish movies, so Piranaconda and Lavalantula, they're out of here. Must contain someone I have heard of and be made when they are relevant as an actor. Exceptions may be made for documentaries. And lastly, must be free to watch. This will mostly be Amazon.com, but I may throw in a Tubi or IMDb TV or something like that. And that's it, so let's jump right into episode one, where we will take a look at one of my favorite movies, incredibly inferior predecessor, Last of the Mohicans, 1936. This film tells the story of the last members of a tribe helping the British during the French and Indian War, which is not synonymous, but rather refers to the American events of the Seven Years' War. I learned something. And stars Randolph Scott. Yeah, him. For those of you unfamiliar, he's a bit like Errol Flynn, but without the charisma, or STDs. This movie is an interesting time capsule of the time, and while it may be viewed with raised eyebrows today, was probably really progressive for the time. Go on, Uncle. Save yourself. No. Uncle, never leave you. The performances are wooden. I knew these folks and blazed the trail that brought them here. This is how my parents died. General, the Indians have broken into the fort. They're massacring the garrison. No. The staging is odd. And the fight scenes, uh, let's just say, leave much to be desired. But there is still a sense of authenticity from the world before CGI, or SAG gaining any semblance of power. And check out those eyebrows! An interesting note is that this movie, and not the book, was the main basis for 1992's Last of the Mohicans, directed by Michael Mann and starring Daniel Day-Lewis, and features a great amount of similar scenes and lines. No, don't. In case your aim's any better in your judgment. Don't shoot! Can't you see they're different from the others? I don't trust any of them. If your aim's as bad as your judgment, Major, I don't imagine there's much danger of you hitting them. So it makes for an interesting study in how different generations approach acting and cinematography and general film craft. So if you need a distraction, check out Last of the Mohicans on Amazon. They don't make them like they used to. Whether that's a good thing or not is up for you to decide. Thanks for joining, and happy treasure hunting, everyone. Whatever happened to Randolph Scott has happened to the industry.